Okay, go ahead. So I called my bridges the pen and the diamond, and then my unicorn is child design. Mm -hmm. And I blew it. <laughs> so for the first one, give me You can, I mean, you can kind of skip the criteria constraints. So. Okay. So for the first one, I just said the target customers like four cities and they can't afford like a bigger, like, cool looking bridge and like or they need like a lot of bridges and then for my problem statement I like came up with the town and I said Poorsville is experiencing rapid population growth and it's causing increased traffic and like longer commutes so the existing bridges can't handle the new volume of vehicles and they're just an urgent need of affordable bridges that can handle it and I just said like make a bridge that can handle it for cheap and then my total cost is 190 Thirty-one dollars, and then here's the picture, and you can just kind of see it's really small. It has the pier, which was a lot of the price, and then it's all the carbon steel, and then it's all hollow except for like the one on the end, because it had to be solid or it would not work. <laughs> said like cities that needed to invest in something that would like bring people in and then I my city West of Wealth is known for their sophisticated art scene but they're experiencing a decline in tourism so they need something to attract tourists and like have a landmark in their uh, skyline and so I just said design a bridge that will work but still be eye-catching and my total cost for that one was $676,636. And I just used carbon steel again because it worked for the other one. And then in the picture, it's all, like, the middle part is all solid because that's what, like, would work. And then I added the more decorative parts in the hollow. So hopefully it wouldn't, like, make it not work when I added the extra stuff. Fancy. Okay.